Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about this super dope plugin called Mixbox. Now, I'm not affiliated with this plugin at all. I just think it's really dope, all right? My homie Faux Pound told me about this, and now we got to dive into it. So when you first open Mixbox up, it looks like this. And you have four inserts here. But essentially, you can choose from a huge assortment of different effects, all right? All sorts of reverb, saturations, EQs, and they're all modeled off of stuff you would find on analog mix boards. We pull up this compressor here. You got this one, and then you also have channel strips. You got reverbs, modulations, saturations, EQs. You got everything you need. So, so when you first see it, it comes up with these four inserts, but you can click this button to get more inserts, you know, if you want to have a large chain. And I like how it looks too. It makes you think you're actually mixing anal like with analog gear. So it's really nice. But I'm going to show you at least one application of it for mastering. But like I said, you could put this strip on anything. You could put it on instruments, vocals, drums. As a matter of fact, it has different presets down here. So if you left click it, you can ch check out all of the presets. Bass, delays, drums, guitar, keys. So if we put one on for like bass, it's like 70s bass line. You can see that it put on all these different effects for you. And you can really mess with a bunch of different stuff. It's actually on sale right now. It is a bit pricey, but I think it's worth it for all of these effects that you get. Anyway, I'm going to show you the mix chain I used for today's beat. So let's listen to the beat without it. Now when I throw mix box on. All I threw on here was a compressor, a channel strip, and a limiter, and it just really gave it some sauce. And I also used this Mixbox plugin in tandem with Ozone 9 Elements, all right? That's another plugin that is some serious mastering sauce. You can hit this master assistant, and it will go through this process and analyze your beat and give you a, a good mastering preset, essentially. But if we listen to that with the Mixbox... It gets it nice and loud. And I also like ozone elements because you have other stuff you can mess with here. Like you can really mess with the peak and make sure you're getting it where it needs to hit. But it's really not necessary to be honest. If, let's delete it because I want to show you using just mix box. So what we're actually going to do is on this four slot, let's go to saturation and throw in a saturator X. All right. Now this will probably already be too loud from where we want it, but we can mess with it a little bit. I'm going to bring it down to tape one. Then I'm going to mess with this output right here until... I see a good spot for a ceiling, like negative 2 dB, like right here. So I'll show you. Let's play it and bring this down. So watching this dB meter right here, it's hitting about, on its highest peak, a negative 2 dB, and that's what we want. So, so it is really nice messing with an effect like this that's modeled off of analog gear, is you really get that difference in mixing. Whereas, you know, when you're mixing digitally, a lot of the times, you have a lot of visual graphs that you can see and look at. So you're using your eyes a lot of the times, not necessarily your ears all the time. Whereas something like this... There's not as much visual appearance. It's a lot of really tweaking the knobs and listening with your ears to get a, a finalized product that you you are you are happy with. So yeah, it's really dope. I, I love this plugin. Once again, I'm not affiliated with this, so I don't get any kind of commission or none of that. I just think it's a really dope plugin. So if you are interested in getting this and you have some money to invest in your you know producing career, I would definitely recommend. Mixbox. Let me know if you want any more plugin reviews and walkthroughs, you know, third party plugin and effects reviews and walkthroughs, because I'll definitely do more of those. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a little simple video. 
If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Much appreciated, everybody. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Peace.